Welcome to a new Airbus Instruments tutorial. In the following video, you will learn how to configure your Phantom Gateway 2.0 to send data with the EI monitoring software. First, we need to connect our gateway to a network. Connect the gateway directly to the modem using an Ethernet cable. Or follow these steps to connect it to a wireless network. If your gateway receiver is new and does not have any configurations yet, it will emit a Wi-Fi network called EI Phantom GW. Connect to the network and if necessary enter the password which is 8 times the number 8. Once connected to the network, go to the web browser of your choice and enter the following IP address 192.168.1.1 Point four point one, and select enter. This will load the Gateway 2.0 settings screen. If the Gateway is not yet configured to send data to any specific location, it will appear in red as shown in the video. On the left side, go to the General tab. Click on the Enable Wi-Fi option and then click on the Scan Wi-Fi Networks. The bottom will change to the loading symbol, this means it is scanning. Once it finishes scanning, in the Wi-Fi Networks section, expand the list of options and select the Wi-Fi network you want to use. Then. Enter the wireless network password in the Wi-Fi password section. If necessary, use the show password option to verify it. At the bottom, activate the send data to EI monitoring option and the static monitor option as well. Now, enter the EI monitoring software IP address. You can check this IP address on the software on the configuration tab with the Get IP Address tool. Once finished, click Save to save the changes. A message will appear at the top of the screen where you should click Accept to confirm the changes. The page will lose connection and the gateway will restart. After a few seconds, the screen will show a new IP address and the caption MON with the EI monitoring IP address. Now, start your EI monitoring service to start getting your sensor data. You have finished this tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact our technical support team.